episode of Quiz the Coach. Today I'm going to talk about supplements. I got a question from Charles. He says, hey Josh, I'm very keen to discover different strength building exercises as well as whey and creatine. What other supplements are best in order to increase strength? So I'm going to talk about supplements in general and then we're going to talk, uh, give you a little bit of information about supplements specifically related to strength. But when it comes to supplementation, the main thing is to focus on your strength training, your exercise, and your nutrition before you even consider supplementation. If your nutrition and your training program aren't on point, there's really no reason to be taking supplements. That's my personal opinion. However, having said that, if your nutrition and your training are on point, then supplementation may lead to faster results. So let's look at what my basic suggestions are as far as supplementation. Now, first of all, I'd recommend vitamin D as a basic supplement that almost everyone should be taking. Especially in colder climates like we're in here in Canada, a good part of the year, most people are not getting a lot of sunlight exposure. And research has shown that there are so many benefits to taking vitamin D that I think it's just worth everyone taking that as a supplement. Now, I think the RDA is like a thousand IUs, but you can, most people can go much higher than that. I, I take about 6,000 IUs in the winter and at least 4,000 during the summer. Another basic supplement I recommend is whey protein. There's nothing magical about whey protein in particular, but it is a bio, very bioavailable source of complete protein that's very easy and convenient to take. Fish oil is another supplement that I think is worth taking. There's a lot of essential fatty acids and omega-3s in fish oil that a lot of people don't get from their diets. Another supplement that I think is worth considering for a lot of people is some sort of greens product some sort of uh, superfoods or greens formula. A lot of people aren't eating enough vegetables. Now ideally, you'd eat more vegetables, get enough micronutrients from your actual diet rather than supplementing. But I know a lot of people, for a lot of people, that doesn't happen. In which case, uh, a greens powder might be worth considering. Now as far as strength is concerned, two supplements come to mind right away. One of them is creatine. There's just a lot of research to back up the effectiveness of creatine. So if your goal is to build muscle uh, or strength, then creatine is definitely worth considering. It's safe, uh, it's effective for most people, and it's uh, quite inexpensive as well. Uh, the other supplement would be caffeine. Now, too much caffeine, I mean, if you're relying on coffee multiple times a day just to stay awake, uh, it's probably not the healthiest supplement to consider, and you may not get the performance enhancing benefit from it in that case. But if you can reduce your consumption of caffeine to just before training, just before your workouts, it has been proven to have a performance enhancing effect. So, in that case, you may be able to lift more, you may have more energy during your workout, and that can benefit your overall gains. Of course, there's a hell of a lot of other supplements out there, and there's also a lot of hype in marketing. It can make it pretty difficult to know what supplements are actually worth taking. That's why I recommend you do your own research, and there are a few online resources that I suggest you take a look at. One good one is PubMed.gov. There's a lot of clinical studies and research on that site, not only just for supplements, on a variety of topics, uh, but you can find some good clinical studies on supplements here. The problem with this site is that there's a lot of research to sift through, and sometimes it's difficult to actually interpret some of those studies. So I recommend you take a look at these two websites. Herbalog.com takes individual supplements and simplifies the research for them, so it makes it really easy to interpret and understand, and it focuses specifically on supplementation. Uh, but examine.com, if you want to get into more detailed information, examine.com cross-references of these studies, actually interprets or analyzes the validity of these studies, and tells you whether the research on them is actually valid. So you can get a lot of great information. And also on examine.com, you can search um, a goal like fat loss or strength building, uh, you know, hypertrophy, and it will tell you what supplements relate to that goal as well. So it's really well referenced. It actually analyzes the research and it gives you a very clear idea of what supplements might be actually worth taking related to your specific goals. But like I said before, you need to focus on your nutrition and your training before you even get into looking at supplements. So I hope that answers your question about supplementation. If you have any other related questions, post them in the comment section below. And until next time, stay strong. Your body produces creatine and gets it from the foods you eat. For example, red meat is very high in creatine. It's completely natural. It's not a drug. It's not going to make your nuts shrink. You're not going to get creatine rage. Uh, creatine monohydrate is one of the most well-researched sports nutrition supplements available.